Today on Divas Can Cook, we are making one of my favorite lemonades. I'm talking about pineapple lemonade that's heavy on the pineapple. I love this stuff. Let's make it. Okay, I'm gonna start by just rolling my lemons on the counter to soften them up. Go ahead and slice them and now we're gonna juice them. I need about a cup of fresh lemon juice. So I used about seven to eight lemons. You may not need that many of them, but you wanna use fresh lemon juice because yeah, don't use that bottle, honey. Fresh lemon juice would give you the best tasting lemonade ever. It just will. Okay, so now I'm gonna strain it. I didn't think I had that many seeds and pulp in here, but oh, once I strained it, I was like, yep, I'm so glad I did because look, yeah, I had a lot in there. Okay, so for my pineapple juice, I'm using this Lakewood pineapple juice. It's just pure pineapple juice, no other added ingredients. I'll show you how to juice a pineapple juice without a juicer on my blog, so go on over there and check that out. Pour this pineapple juice into your pitcher. We're gonna add some hot water here. Now we're gonna make our simple syrup, so I'm gonna add some hot water, equal parts sugar, dump that right into that hot water. We're gonna stir this on up just until all of that sugar has dissolved, and our simple syrup is looking nice and clear, kinda like this right here. And you can use some light agave or even honey if you don't wanna use the sugar, but yeah, go ahead and dump this right into your pitcher. Give it a little stir to get everything combined. And now we are done, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, it's way too sweet. I'm gonna add in lots and lots of fresh cold water. You can use um, some um, lemon lime soda with this, some club soda, but I like to use water because I want this to have a more, you know, lemonade taste to it. Now pour it over a whole bunch of ice. You can garnish it with some lemon slices or some pineapple wedges. Throw in a splash of vodka for good luck, okay? And that is it. You can get this full recipe and a lot of other recipes at divasandcook.com. Later.